What's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to episode nine of the Happily Ever Banter podcast with me and Kiki. Uh, I just want to come out here real quick before the episode starts, let you guys know we uh, we had a little bit of technical difficulties this week. Uh, recorded a whole episode, and it did not save the memory card. Luckily, we have the master Magnus, and he was able to recover audio from his camera put it through some AI, AI tools to get us some better audio to where we could put it out. Uh, doesn't sound the best. It's not our best audio that we could put out, but it is listenable. You can hear us. You can hear me and Kiki going back and forth. We talk, we talk about some interesting things. So the content is there, episodes there. So I want to get on here and tell you guys, if you're listening or if you're on YouTube, give you just a quick, uh, explaining of what's going on to where if you listen to it and you're like, man, this kind of sounds different. Well, yes, it does. And we apologize. Uh, but episode 10 will be back and we will do more checks to make sure this does not happen again. So thank you for listening to episode nine and hope you enjoy it. Peace. You are now listening to the happily ever banter podcast. Let's go. That was legit. What's up, everybody? So this is uh, uh, episode nine. We kind of just jumping on here to do one. We didn't have anything planned, really. Uh, so we're just going with the flood. Kiki's been out. Uh, well, you know, it's always girls' time. She never has time for her family anymore. I didn't get an excuse to be out. That was my friend's 40th birthday. So I had to go. We had to make this trip. Yeah, I had to go. Yes, I had to go. Have some girl time. That was why you think you spent. You know what? I actually brought it out that bad. I bet you my check because I put everything on the American Express. And the reason why I did that, so I did that, that way, I would go ahead after a trip add it all up and just pay it. That's what I'm going to do. So, so what's your best guess? guess? My best guess is probably 300 bucks. That's bullshit. Probably. There's no way. Birthday. <laughs> I bet we could pull the thing up. You spent three months on your whole trip. Let me see. I mean, okay, I so flights for I pay. Oh, I'm well, not including flights. I'm, like, flight. I'm talking about like there. Okay, so you pay for this. I don't need it. No, exactly right now. It's just cool. I want to know my balance. No, three hundred eleven dollars. Boom. <laughs> I was talking about the whole trip, jackass. Oh, okay, but that's what I spent while I was there. See, with all drinks, you didn't even eat. Then <laughs> we all split everything. We're like, we ain't worried about getting good meal in. We just, I mean, we're not, you know, us three, so, like, we're all, like, small eaters, so, like, the portion sizes were good, so that's literally, we would get an appetizer, eat it, and then, like, either me and Lindsay would share, or me and Lauren would share, so, we had made her bill cheap, and then we would do, like, bottleless on most, she would pay 20 bucks. You took your bottle up the day? <laughs> yes, that's just, she's, it got wow. The stays in Disneyland, stays in Disneyland, whatever that thing says. That's about the same. <laughs> what happens in Disneyland stays in Disneyland. That's what the Disneyland people say. No, I, 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 That's why they're in trouble. <laughs> no, like, uh, no, so yeah, we, we want to get on here. Like, we got to get one knocked out for this week. Uh, literally, we're we're in the 11th hour, so I'm making Magnus a job hard <laughs> doing the uh, episode late, but... I mean, you got to do what you got to do when we got kids and sports and just busy all the time. Like, that's why during the day I enjoy my time. And sometimes I'll have quiet time. I don't do anything because once school lets out, that's when stuff just. Yeah, all the bricks loose. Yes. Right back and forth constantly. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's fun. It's a, it's part of our life that we're going to, everybody I know talks to you like that or me. They're like, you're going to miss that when it's gone. So, like I said, I don't let it bother me. Either no, you bitch your day about it. Oh, I do, especially whenever I have to go back and forth. Well, with that, people forget their things. That's the best part of it. Like I said, they're kids, dude. They're not. They're not growing up. QT, them. Can you forgot something too? And it happens. And and you know we got to have each other's back. How do you have your back? Well, that's what I'm saying. So you can't complain. Like I get it, you can be frustrated, but like it is what it is. We got to just you got to roll with it. You got to put your bank curl panties on a roll. Oh, I've seen your thing. They're, <laughs> they're actually getting a little tight. My ass girl crossed. Oh, that's the funniest joke that the Quints, the Quints and Lily always say, she's got a big butt. I know. It's freaking hilarious because for a while it was Ashley that had the J-Lo booty. And now for some reason, I think my booty's so big. Like they'll, they'll dress up as me. Like, who's this? Oh, is it Kiki? And they get the 
they crack up so hilarious. hilarious. Yeah, they think it's so hilarious. Come back. <laughs> yeah, I didn't Jesus. But it is funny. I grew up with the trip. We stick up in heaven with the house in a while. We did have a sleepover again, so we can have them all over here. Yeah, it's always so wild because you're just getting older now, you know, and then we have a tiger and you just uh, wrap them back it up. I can't believe they're about to be nine years old. Uh, Danielle just posts a real update showing, you know, from, from them being from birth to about to be nine. Like people ask about them that know us and know them. And, uh, you know, we still refer to them as a baby sometimes. It's just it's funny because they're lucky nine years old, but they're still the babies to us. You know, I guess they were, they were so much, uh, either only a couple of years behind Bronson, but they just seem like they were little for so long. So, uh, but it's part of it. So what else have you got on Keek? Well, I mean, I just got back from my trip, so I still have an unpack. I know I gotta get that done. That was what a record you got back home either. Well, it wasn't a record. I didn't notice that the dishes were loaded or unloaded or whatever, but the bowls were at the top instead of the bottom. Okay, can't be scared to do that. No, what? But you know what? I just stored it and it was okay. See there, just let it go. Yeah. But before I left, I made sure everything was clean and the clothes were washed and everything. So yeah, I figured when I come back, and plus y'all had a busy weekend, so yeah, that's how to be at home to make a mess. Yeah, we weren't really here. Oh. Uh, he was gone for volleyball. I had brought for basketball, but uh, like I said, it's we managed without you. Do you miss me when you go to what? Absolutely. Why would I miss you? Because you're a like girl's trip. I don't know, but you still can miss your spouse. I mean, I know a lot of times, sometimes I mean, it's good to get away for a couple of days just to go have some girl time, you know, but you can still miss your kids and your spouse, you know? Well, you want that big away at girl time. <laughs> me and the girl are going to go this up. Yes. Your wife, your guy, your wife gets in the way that girl's time. But I'm saying my girl time is different than your guy time. Your guy time can just be like, you just going out to dinner or you just going to play golf, you know? But like, I don't really have. But we're going to take a guy's golf trip soon. Okay. And we're going to remain so long. He's <laughs> and that was just like, what? My cat, he's going to fail <laughs> all these certain parts. Like, you can't come strip the party like that. He wants to do that. But can't do that. Can't do that. Once I said, I can do it, I can do it all. You know, it's funny. I don't talk about it. It's a yeah, sure club. So back in the day, like when we were getting like when we were dating uh, before we got married. Yeah. We always went like, this is a funny story. We always went like, so the guys, you know, it's just a part of being a dude. We go to New Orleans for bachelor parties or we go to bachelor parties somewhere and we would always end up strip club. It's just part of doing it all. <laughs> and so one of the funniest things ever. So we go on a trip for my buddy, or my best friend, John's bachelor party and uh nobody wanted to go to strip club we didn't talk about going to one we were like hey we're going we ain't gotta tell the ladies about this shit dude like this you, you ain't gotta tell them everything you know so we go we go to the strip club we have a good time it's whatever and then we go to leave two of the dudes called their girlfriends at the time hey we just went to the strip club i'm like you freaking pussy that was so pissed off I, I was like, I'm not telling Crystal this. I'm not like offer up this. Effort. I don't think. I think Jamie and us, we went and did some. Did some. I think we were in the car whenever the guys call. No, no, it was not. Our, no. So okay. Fast forward, like literally a couple years, and Crystal and our friend John and Jamie, one of our good couple friends. Crystal's like going on and on in the car with Jamie. Apparently, I was at the house, and she's like, "Oh yeah, but Dale tells me everything." Blah blah blah. And she's like, bitch, they ever tell you about that? Uh, yeah. The strip club and dude, she was mad. Like, this is two years later. And she was pissed. I was pissed. Because uh, she was young. She, but she was bad because she got embarrassed because she she was going on. Oh, Dale tells me everything. Yeah. <laughs> so I laid into his ass. But you know that I like to make it right. And then I'm squeezing into our strip clubs. And it was just like, it, it's not that. It's, it's, I don't know. I've been to one. And I saw one of the girls that I used to work at this art camp. Whenever I was 18, well, she got more than money. And so she was like one of these educational high girls with her. I never, I never forget, went to strip club and I actually saw her and I was like super shocked. Hey, don't, don't, don't wait on the strip. And then I felt bad that one of the, the girls that waited on us was pregnant. That was terrible. Well, hey, you got to make their money. That's just how they decided to do their job. So I'm not hating on it, but 
Yeah, we went to we went to many. Uh, you know, that was early early twenties, mid twenties years. That's just a part of it. Mid twenties, the segundas. Or the other old twenties. But uh, it was just so funny. She was, you know, she found out. But like I said, we've been to, like I said, that was just kind of like all my best friends. There's, you know, three, four of us. We all did that, you know, my eye. And uh, it was just, it's funny. I mean, it's like I said, you, it, you see a bunch of weird people in there, uh, guys that, you know, think strippers like them, stuff like that. But it's just a, it's more of a rite of passage for men, I think. It's just like, yeah. Maybe it's still all time. We have to stop him. Remember, he goes with his shirt off. Yeah. I bet she twists his nipples. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so, but yeah, I mean, that's just, that's just a part of being young. And, so, no, we had a, little, a lot of good times. Where we got, I remember there was time that we'd be in our apartment and me and my friend would be like, let's get drunk so we can actually go, go to the strip Plus, Remember, we'd make a bet with y'all because like, you'd be so hammered. No, y'all, yeah. 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 You always wanted to go. And then you went, you went, you're let out. I went. I was like, let down. I was like, this is what y'all go for. Wow. Well, it's you, mango. Yeah, you, we took y'all to it. Nasty. Yeah, that was, it was nasty. I was not impressed by no, it. No, was in New Orleans. I'm not going to lie. Those were nice. They're classy joints. Top that. No, they were. No, uh, they weren't like the one that's in South Louisiana. <laughs> I mean, it's a little, don't even say where you, you know, it's funny nowadays. So, like, Whenever we were dating and stuff, and like, of course, we were married before kids and stuff, like, we would go into sex shops, you know, like not around town, but we would like, maybe we'd go out of town or just pull off and see where yeah. just go. Well, now I can't even tell you what's the last time we've been in one because we don't want to get recognized. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you have a down? I, 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 I mean, I know I've been in there maybe once or twice to go for like my friends to get them something, you know, but I'm not recognized like that. But like, as far as like going in, you know, I mean, with nowadays, with the Amazon and all these websites, there's no need to go in there. Uh, but you know, hey, it's a part of it's part of you know couples. It's, it's not a, it's not as taboo as it was. Uh, you know, y'all used to have those fun parties back in the day too. Oh, I know. We actually talked about that not too long ago. And like, I remember like that was a thing to do. You know, you got married, your bachelor or or whatever, you would do a, a fun party, and it would always be a huge big old girl demonstrating on how to use all these sex toys. And I'm like, she is more so. Yeah. She passed me. No, no. kid. She went in. But it's so funny though. So then I put it, I think she was showing you all the different toys and you would go in a private little room and pick out the toys you want, that you wanted to try. And, you know, so that way you can keep it personal. That way your friends and stuff won't know what you picked up. They that much of freaky word. But then you have to end up telling them what you got, you know, like, oh yeah, I got this, you know. Yeah. The candy stuff that probably gave me like a yeast infection. Or oh, I did. <laughs> you know, it's the shit you chalk in your dog, you know? Uh, uh, that's so funny. Those were popular back in the day. I don't know if they didn't know I know. I don't know, but we're like, man, we should do one just to see. I mean, I'll probably need to contact Cindy's or whatever that laundry place is. I'm sure you could find somebody I want to do that. Uh, we should do a couple spark party. That'd be fun. We still need to do that one that Rebecca said where um, you paint, like you get one of those little mannequins and you paint your face or their face. I think that'd be so cool. No, we need to do what I seen like, like we seen our friend Luke at Melody. Oh, yeah. We need to do that. We need to do the paint your spouse type oh, a portrait. I think that'd be something funny we could do for a uh, for a for a reel in a YouTube or something like that. Yeah. We'll set up some. We'll set up some campuses. Maybe was coming shoot some video of us uh, painting each other. Saint the uh, portraits. That could be funny. You would get the kids involved with the kids painting mm-hmm. each other or something like that. Yeah. That could be something fun to do. Uh but yeah, so yeah, being young, you know, he you go through all those certain things. Uh one thing I had right now to talk about, we didn't you know, we didn't talk a lot about I guess because we didn't have a bunch of money. Uh we didn't talk about like the the finances of being married early. Going through struggles, going through, you know, that's probably the biggest stresses on marriage early on, even even through your marriage, just is money issues and handling that. Uh yeah, we always have more. You leave, that's me. I mean, I, I we were guilty of that. One hundred percent. We uh we got to a lot of credit card debt early, just being dumb and wanting to do stuff. Uh 
and it, it's you know luckily we got it kind of figured out to where we bought our first house years ago when we were what we were 30 32 that's when we bought our first house we've been here eight years i'm 40 yeah so that was 30 so we're 30 years old we bought our first house okay so, yeah. so we bought our first house then and dude i to tell you that the the credit score i had and the money issues we had i did, I, I was like man i'm never gonna be a buy house like it was always it stressed me out like it stressed me out thinking about it we never talked about that kind of stuff and they're you know, funny that it just always works out for the better you know yeah i mean great god uh just like even when we moved here it was stressful living here because the housing the housing market was so much more now it was, there was a it wasn't that we we got a good deal of the house it was it's just more of a coming here was you think you you buy a house okay man that's not a bad note then they add on your yeah. state taxes property taxes for texas which we didn't have in louisiana and it damn near doubled your note and i was like man and we're in a neighborhood that's got the highest tax rate yeah oh uh, which sucks but we wanted to be here by your sisters and everything get the same schools uh I probably would have done it different. Looking back, I would have bought probably the golf course and just dealt with it. <laughs> you also had the golf course so bad. Well, it just, I mean, they haven't been different schools. I mean, I, I get it. It's best for our kids. They're all together. Kids are together. I love our neighborhood. would change it for the world now. But uh, it was just kind of one of those things where I say not pressured into it, but you wanted to live here. There was no other option, really. Uh, but like I said, we, Going back to the money thing, we had a lot of issues early on, uh, really just overspending. We still catch ourselves doing that. Man, we're not perfect by any means. I think uh, I think one of the scary things, I, I don't think about it enough, but it does give me anxiety to think about it, like retirement. Like we haven't talked about a lot of retirement and like kids' college stuff. Man, we, we are nowhere where we need to be for retirement and like kids' college stuff. It's one of the things like you're like, oh, we're gonna get to it. Then you look up and we're 40, and the kids are almost, uh, I mean, Kenzie's about to start high school. And so, like, it's one of those things that it's it's a lot of stress that I feel on myself because it's like where to start, where to be. And I say, I say, we're trying to, you got savings, we have to think like that, but it's like we're not really set up, right? I feel, and I'm sure that's a lot of people. So that's why I'm kind of want to talk about it. It's like it's, you know, like I said, uh, we live our life, things like that. But I do get worried about uh, the future. I think that if anything stress me out more, just think about the future. I try to think about it, but we're at an age where I, mean, I think if I worry about when it happens or when the kids, you know, no, because like I said, it's I don't want to be the guy working until I'm 70 some years old because of everything. And like I said, I, I want to be tired and hanging out and traveling and playing golf and things like that i forgot because whenever we were growing up and stuff you know we got uh what do you call it we had tops running no 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 i'm not talking about that like when we were growing up our grandparents gave us um what do you call it we get wedding what's allowance thank you and draw a blank like they would give us 20 20 bucks a week or whatever so by the time we graduated we were able to each buy our own car that wasn't allowance. He gave you. They put that in. So, no, I know. But that game is twenty. No, that's what we. That's what we put that towards that. Yeah. Is it so was twenty dollars bills put down? And we had a bank account. We put that in, and we couldn't touch it. Well, that's not really allowance. I was just like they're putting that in. Yeah, see, I told, yeah, but that's where we wanted to go. But it was funny that you added up, and it was like, wow, that's how we were able to drive. So we each wear up our heel home car. Yeah. Now for cost, man. Uh. I can't imagine mm-hmm. money. We'll be buying a car. You know, Kenzie. I know. I think, well, I, I think it's so crazy because she's like, I, I want, I want uh, a pink Jeep. The brother's like, I want a what? No. Uh, uh, Kenzie will send me these TikToks of like these $250 vintage Broncos. Like, this one, all, I'm like, get out of here. Yeah, and then Bronson wants a what? No. A Tesla? Or- what? I said, Bronson, what do you want? Like, well, one of my cars, I want a Tesla and I want a truck too. So he wants two vehicles. Yes. Yeah. And I was like, oh, like, these kids have known. Y'all, y'all have known to the what? All right, time it comes to drive, y'all might be driving my vehicle and I'm getting a new vehicle, okay? No, yeah. You know? Like, yeah. like it's going to. No. Dale's like, why am I get her a Jeep, you know? Like, oh Lord! I mean, what you don't want your your kids to have a piece of crap right. breaks down. Right. We're not in a small town. 
you need something that I feel like for them when they both start driving, I feel like they need like a small little SUV, you know, but this something that's heavy, the that roll easy, you know, safety features. That's just a misconception about Jeeps to roll easy. I don't know why, who started that? You know, you got the kids, they do, our parents told us that. Oh, you want Jeep, they roll it. I'm like, I, I don't see too many Jeeps rolling over. Yeah. We're not rock climbing. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think we have that issue. But, uh, but like I said, that's just one thing I wanted to talk about with you. Like, we did, we did, as a, as a young couple, I didn't grow up in the thing of saving money. Uh, I didn't hear it growing up. My mom, you know, she had her struggles and things being a single mom. So, uh, you know, we had everything we needed when we were taken care of, but it wasn't one of the things where I came from well off, uh, neither did Crystal. Uh, uh, and we both were just, like I said, man, we just be, you know, we paid for our wedding. We did everything ourselves, uh, put ourselves in debt, got ourselves out of debt, had bad credit, got better credit. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things where it's true. I make a lot more money now, but we still spend to where you're like, you know, it's. Yeah. The spending ads, that's just special. Just a little, I you know, just going out to eat, you know, kids wanting this, kids wanting that. Going out of town for the weekend. Oh, can you do, you know, it's like. Yeah, I think, yeah, and we're guilty of, uh, like you said, you know, you, we do more for our kids than we ever had. Right. Because we can, but it's not that we should all the time. Right. Uh, and I'm sure there's a lot of families and people that, that deal with the same thing. Yeah, I think. I, I think, think we just got to get I more of uh, that. Structure. You know, I think there's why we do that. We give our kids a lot more because we didn't have that grab. So we want them to, you know. Yeah, but you don't want to. I mean, I don't, we have, I don't, I don't, we have, I don't think we ever do it, but no, I don't think we do. But it's just one of those things that all just adds up. Uh, and I know that there's a lot of couples that deal with this. Friend, I love to talk about it. They all have their own things. Like you know, like I said, if nobody's perfect, everybody got their own stress. I'm just thankful that you know, before kid, like if I remember right, one time we were living paycheck to paycheck, and like uh, the shit, like. My checks were covering daycare, and I was like, "Why are the kids even need daycare? Like, I I should just be staying home, you know." Yeah. Although that literally, my checks were just not that big. And yeah, Leslie, we did we did have, we weren't living here for both having daycare. Yeah. We were paying like twelve hundred bucks a month for both of them on point, and then we moved here. Kenzie's a kid in garden. Yeah. But we were paying. I think we're no, paying more. We paid like twelve hundred just for Bronson yeah. and moved here, and uh, you know, like I said, so. It's one of those things, man. Like I said, the more money will probably is, is true saying I, I, I made more money, but then you still, if you still have the bad habits of spending and doing things like that, which we've kept, uh, it, it's still a struggle and it's still a stress force, you know? And it's like, it, it's, it's tough, man. It's really tough to like want to be doing things and stuff like that. Not so much keep it up with the Joneses kind of thing, but it's just like, Staying busy, uh, do a thing. We get kids' sports we pay for. You know, I feel like we do manage it a lot better now. But I think that's always an issue for people. I, I don't know, man. I guess these guys that talk about how they say and this, I just, I don't, I, I don't have that in me. And I wasn't, that wasn't instilled in me. So that makes it tough to like, to do. I want to do that thing I see on TikTok. It's a binder that you take. I think it's like, you put a hundred dollars in a sleeve for for the year, and I forgot how much it calculated it to be. I, I can't remember because it's oh, I don't I don't know how oh, it is. I don't know. I have to go back, but it was like you put twenty dollars in, you put hundred dollars. It was a lot of hundred dollar bills. So at the end, it was like, whoa, like I need to do that. Yeah, but you would just. No, I don't year, then you would spend all that on one thing. No, you wouldn't. It. That's what you would. You no, know, like whenever you get paid, pull pull a hundred dollars out. Put in a, just every time you get paid, so you get paid twice. A, so just pull out a hundred dollars to figure that out. So if you're get two hundred dollars, two hundred bucks for twelve months. For twelve months. What's the math there? No, I'm sorry. That, it was more. That had to be like every day or something. No, I don't know. I'm gonna find that. T- looking at Max, it's on TikTok. There was like a. It was like a. Back to like TikTok. You know. He says it's double. The ball letting is Chinese spyware. The ball letting. But no, I said. Oh, yeah, take that down. Take that can you I mean, it might. Uh, but yeah, that, that's just something I wanted to talk about. Uh, we we don't talk about it. No, I think. And now we have. 
I think, but I think we're guilty of just like, I don't know. I, I always go back to hear what we heard at church with Matt. It was like, hey, man, sometimes you need to slow down and figure things out before something bad happens that forces you to slow down, like the thing that he went through. And that's the thing that kind of scares me just because it's so, uh, I mean, it's true. Shit can happen and then like, man, it can really humble you or this or that. You know, you never know. There's all kinds of things that could happen. But, uh, so that's one thing I just, you know, if I say it, if I, anything I think about this dress, yeah, that's more so just for the future of our family and making sure that the kids take care of, we're all good. Uh, but it still takes a distance on our end what we haven't been doing yet. You know? I mean, we're saving money, but it's like, it's not a, I, I can't say we have an estate ready for retirement and they are 40. Like, so it's going to be here for you know it. Oh, um, yeah. It should be 40. Well, yeah, but I have 40. Jeez. I'm so bad at numbers, y'all. I forget. <laughs> I'm so bad at numbers. <laughs> It'll be 42 this year. Oh, I, no. Brought some another day. It was like, well, were you 42? I'm like, no, son. I'm 41. The year just begun. It's so, I mean, yeah, that's right. You're four. Duh. I'm so bad with ages. Like, I'm after to get their ages covered the kids because now the twins are nine. So I have to remember, Brad's not, Brad's just not nine. It's your four. You ever thought about retirement? Like, what would our retirement really look like or what you want it to look like? You have thought about that? <laughs> no. No. I thought about I mean, I just, you know, I always told what, what do you think about, like, if the, always, the kids are gone? I've always told you, like, you know, I still tell you today, like, you know, all right, save, let's put up, you know, let's make sure we don't lay for the key. It's, you know, like, I, I tell you, I've been telling you that for the longest time. And so now I just like, because that used to stress me out big time. And so now I just, I'll put it on the back, but I just, it's just, I don't know. The retirement, I mean, well, oh yeah. I mean, once the kids are gone, I mean, just enjoy life together, traveling, you know, going to the bore or bore, just. <laughs> I know you have a golf course up in the no, but that, hills. I don't, yes, I, I don't never want to be. I, I have no desire to be out in the country. Okay. I don't know about hill, like Texas country. Hill could. It's every hill. It's still. I don't know. I really have like a beach house or something like that to go to. Oh, yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah, because I love the beach. I'm a beach girl too. So, yeah. Put me up on a beach on a weekend. Hey. Yeah, no, that, that's what I would want to do. But like I said, man, it's just, it's crazy to think that, you know, the kids be at 13, 11, that's already like stuff you got to think about. You don't think about it. And then the Blake and their fucking yeah, high school, middle school. And the next thing I know where we work on kids, he's like college stuff. Uh, me and her talked about it quite a bit. She talked about, you know, she wants to do something medical field. She's talked about going to AM or LSU, things like that, which, you know, that's all costs a lot of money too. Like, so maybe it's scholarships and things. I don't know how that works for Al State tuition. Uh, and like, I want both of ours to go to college, to finish college. I know college is not for everybody. And, and now it's world out. I don't even think that it's, I don't know. Overall, you just look at how well you move up and how well you work, you know? But so, like, our, like our kids know we went. The college, but Kenzie doesn't matter that I didn't graduate. Like, well, damn, could have been a doctor, you know. But like, I went to school, I tried, you know. But then I was like, I don't know what I decided to pull out. I don't know. What, what was your dream job growing up? My dream job? Like, what did you want to do when you got older? You ever think, what, what, like, when you're a kid, you want to be a oh, the teacher? For the longest time, I wanted to be a teacher. Then I wanted to be a nurse, a radiologist. Hell, I thought that was so cool. And then I thought about, you know, doing like public relations because I like talking. But if I had to pick my number one is to be a teacher and nowadays, coming to think about now, like, what was I thinking? I would never be a teacher. Yeah, I don't you'd be a good teacher. I don't know if you'd be in any of the best white persons. For I mean, it's like, you know, bro, right now he's told to be a police officer. I'm like, no, son, you're not being a police officer. That would be a side hustle job that you're not being. No. I'm not putting police officers down. I'm not saying that. Yeah, no, well, but, uh, but, you know, you want better for your children because you don't want them to struggle like how we struggled you know like you know and that's uh, that's another thing i worry about too like you know making sure kenzie finds a good man brought finds a good one you know, uh, i can't even think about that 
No, no, I told, told Kim this. I think you just need to focus on having a career that's going to, like, where you're not dependent on anybody. Yeah. That's what I don't want. I, you know, I don't want to be that she's relied on anything or anybody uh, that she kind of poured a short path and had a career. Yeah, I think that's that's when all the stress is coming, like, when they both start dating and, like, getting real close. They're like, oh, my God. I mean, if that's part of life. I mean, like, you can't, you can't stop it. I mean. Well, the same to where, uh, you know, just like, hell, with me, you were dating. We were dating for a year or two. Your mom still would call me your boyfriend. Oh, I know. I'm like, he is my boyfriend. I've been dating this for a year. This is Crystal Spring. This is Spring. This is, like, I was your gay friend or something. Like, she's introducing to the family or something. This is her, this is her uh, friend. Uh, like, she would. Yeah, she Whenever she was calling Nick and Ashley, like, boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh, I'm sorry, because they were, like, a few years ahead of us. Pit real. Oh, they were the perfect couple. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and there was that Westlake trash boy that cuts nothing. Cuts so much. Oh, dude, I still love that. You chat. You, you are. You never cuss like that. So you try to hear that Westlake trash. And then I was like, "Have you seen our other brother-in-law? That that that's a race car driver. He has book show methods. <laughs> Had lights, low rap. I never forgot to tell Bruce that Bruce was like, we saw a vehicles a day. I was like, you know what? I think it's that one of those courses like Buzz used to drop a lot of those parts. It's like for real. I'm like, yeah. They do it. Let out lights, everything. We were getting a lot back then though. It's crazy how much kids change. Like we you know, we haven't seen the I mean I've seen the Buzzkies later more recent than you have when you've been gone, me and Bronson go hang out. But uh we have Doug as us sixteen in a while. Yeah. Uh, well, like you said, Easter's our buddy. Easter. Easter go up this weekend, so I love it. We'll all get together for Easter like we normally do. So we'll see each other there. And, uh, it's just well, a lot's going on in everybody's life. So it's part of it. But yeah, I was curious. I never, I never, I only ever asked you, like, would you like as a kid, but as a kid, you wanted to be a teacher. I was like, as a kid, I mean, my dream. I can't, I, mean, I can't look back that far. I, mean, I can't remember that far, but I did know I want to be a teacher. I was ready. I was. I actually wanted to be in high school. I wanted to be a high school English teacher. That was my, that's really what I wanted to do when I got out of college. I mean, out of, out of high school. Yeah. Then I realized how much I hated school. I'm like, I don't even go to college. So I'd be a terrible right. teacher. But I couldn't know. I don't know. Couldn't imagine how different. I don't know. I think how, the, how I act and how the new world is, I don't know how well the teacher I would have been. I would, you know, I would have been a fun teacher, but I think I'd have been. to put out with that. No, because it would be. I'd just be in trouble probably. We're saying crazy shit, like I'd say. I just don't think that would be, you know, I just think it is. I think it's more, but I want not that politically correct. It'd be it'd be tough to like tow that line. But uh but no, I was just kinda curious, but I don't know, man. It's a uh, it's just crazy to think about that kind of stuff. And I say I really haven't been thinking about talking to therapists. I know you don't want to do it. Go, 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 go for it. No, well, you don't want to do it. <laughs> it's a couple. You wouldn't want to do it? Sure. <laughs> but you want to or not? Sure. No, I'm just, I don't know why. I think it's something I was interested in. Uh, you know, like me and Matt, uh, the pastor of City Mario, but it's with, we, you know, we had good talk and watch, and we talked about that. And he talked about things that he went through, and he, we, he always kind of looked down or didn't agree with counseling so that that he would teach himself and did it and he realized like how much how helpful it was and i feel like it could be it could only help to talk to somebody unbiased about everything you know it just kind of open up because we don't do that as a couple but yeah have deep talks or yeah i, I just i'm not it's just a different way we don't really communicate like that so maybe I'm just thinking maybe if we did that, that could be healthy for us. But you'd have to be bored too. Yeah. And we'd have to find some power. It's just, it's something I've been thinking. I don't know why I've been thinking about that, but I've been thinking about that. Not that we need no issues that we have it at all. Marriage is great. It's great. It's more of a, I think it's, it would only help us learn how to communicate more. That's my thoughts. You're just looking at me like a blank stare. And I'm just listening. What are your thoughts? I mean, 
I mean, I, like I know we've had Bridget and them on, you know, they're like podcast, I mean podcast therapists are helpful. You know? I mean, I honestly, I don't know how helpful they are. Well, you've never done it. I mean, we, I mean, I know I've never done it, but like, I just can't imagine just going there and just talking to someone and then he, they're telling you the right way or the wrong way. I bet. Just, but, and I know you can't believe everything they say, so that's what I would have. About they're not, they're not, they're, they listen to you yeah. and then it'd be easier to have conversations about Maybe some stuff that I would want to talk to you about or vice versa. Yeah. That would get it out. Yes. I think you can only help us as a couple. I, I'm just thinking about that. Oh, like, but, but, but there's no negativity. I know. It's not, a, it's not anything bad. Like, you know, I, you know, after hearing some other friends talk about it, that's what made me really kind of think about it more, too. Uh, you know, to hear other people talk about it. And like I said, even them, they talked about it. They said, hey, you know, they're used to people coming in and talking about yeah. not wanting to be together, not like people that want to. So it's, it's it's a different thing, but I'm sure there's a lot of couples that are in the same boat like we are. That feel like, oh, man, we, we don't talk about it and much stuff, or we don't. We communicate well, we talk, we, uh, we're, yeah, yeah. No problem with intimacy and anything like that, but that's one of those things that you just can't kind of think about. Yeah. What? What's that? So you can't talk right now. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> My thing is, yeah, communication side, like you know, knowing how to res- how to respond when a reaction happens, you know, like that that kind of communication. I think, I think for somebody gets mad, I get mad. You know how like we lash out or whatever, but let's find a way of not doing that. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, exactly. I know how I have a temper and things like that. And it's like, how could I work on that to be right. better? Because I, I do know I'm. I can't. Sure no. well, baby, let me help you cut that. That sandwich is like, give me that. Sh- give me that effing. No, that's the thing. I get irritated <laughs> very easily. Yeah, but that's the. I think that's more than any of the fights we have. Uh, you know, I prefer either, but I, I, know, but I know how I, I'm guilty of that too. I know how I act and I get short with you and I get irritated easily. I and it's not, up. but it's not, and it's not fair to you, I'm saying, because but that's just my own. I think that's my own issues I need to deal with to get past that. I don't know what that is, but I know that's just, uh, I know that's just kind of how I am. I hate that I'm short with you. And some days I just, I'm an asshole for no reason, but that's just the, I don't know. It's just a, I don't know. It's just a, somebody, somebody thought about, uh, I don't know who or where you fired that person or whatever, where you, I don't even know how to start that. So I should just, I guess, start thinking about it. Gradually do it. Try it out. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's all you could do is try it out. See if you like it. Hope that it, Helps you out and uh, get some clarity or open your mind up to things or teach you how to be a better partner to you guys, be a better father, you know, like for whatever you can. Yeah. Like it's funny today, me and, you know, me and Kenzie play bank all together. And, you know, me, I get frustrated easily. No, yeah, I know that. So I'm like, hit the damn ball the right like. So we got dogs, we're, you know, me and her, you know, we have great, me and Kenzie really communicate well. And I'm really an asshole sometimes, like not trying to be. She's good. It's just like yeah. taking it. Like she's like whatever. She and we were getting dinner. I was like, you know, I'm not mad at you out there. She, goes, I thought you were. I know I'm not mad at you. Like because she thinks you are. I was like, I'm just frustrated because I know that you could do better, and you just like you're not thinking. You know, and you're still learning. I know, and that's then that's my problem. That's on me. I'm expecting her to do so much better. I want her to do so much better. Yeah, but you're not. We're we're not the only parents that do it because any no, any so I work. I know you see their parents do the same exact thing. Exactly, and that's what I'm saying. I think that's why I'm talking about this because it it doesn't like everybody deals with this. Yeah, sometimes I'll say it's so allowed. The tangle of like, he was doing up a side. So how would you just say? He's like, I don't give up. I'm like, dude, <laughs> chill out. You know, I think that comes from my dad. Oh, yeah. He's like, I don't care. Who, who the hell hears me? 
Well, I do. Well, I don't because, like I said, no. you, but you're too worried about people think. Oh, I am. You are? Yeah. I'm, I'm, and I would say that's trashy. Yeah, I'm definitely not worried about what some strangers think about it. Yeah, man, I don't like that. I get it. And that's a good thing. I'm, I am aware of that and the issues, and I'm aware that uh, could be a little bit much and loud. Uh, and it's not the most healthiest thing to do, but I do it. So, but at the end of the day, and we did it. We're best friends. Like I said, that's why I've said, that's why, I, like, uh, you know, that we noticed that in COVID, you know, there's people that had issues with COVID from, you know, you're on the door. It's like, drive for crazy. Well, no, they were always, but like, people weren't always together. We were always, we've been always together ever since we've been, we've been a couple. Yeah. So I think even during COVID, we were always together doing stuff, hanging out. And we enjoy each other's company. We love being around each other. And we love the family time and our time. So it didn't. And it bothered it, it, didn't, bother. it didn't highlight any problems. I think we think if we were just closer, we hung out, we cooked, we did a lot of stuff together. Uh, so like I said, I, I, I'm not worried about that. So that's why I feel like whatever, we, you know, I mean, I hate to say it, but when the kids are off college, school, doing their own thing, uh, you know, I feel like we're going to be just fine, just ourselves. So we find plenty of stuff to do to keep ourselves busy with that. You know, the kids are our identity. They're a big part of the life. They love them. But we know how to ha- hang out, have fun. Like, our life doesn't revolve around everything they do. You know? Right. Yeah. So, uh, so that's just what I kind of think about this. I'm not worried about, you know, there's a lot of couples that get older and they realize, like, oh, man, it's just the kids that were keeping us together, you know. But, yeah. And that happens. So. I don't know. It's just a little bit to talk about. This was kind of weighing on me. And uh, I know that other people probably feel and do the same. Uh, so, like, so I think the best thing about doing a, this podcast with you, we can talk about this kind of stuff. That could we've been getting messages from people like, man, I love you podcast. You're so real, relatable. And like, yeah, I love when you hear the animals that just have been together just as long as us. And they like, they've gone through the same problems that we've gone through. Like you said, like, Every couple has their problems, some type of problems that we talk about, you know? Well, this thing last week, we talked about us going the 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 minor pregnancy issue you had. Oh, uh, yeah. That we went through. They had a lady, she said, we're working on our second climate baby now. Let's still hit home with that, that reel we put out. Uh, so, like I said, that's a real thing that people deal with and talk about. I think that's something we can do is just, like I said, man, we're, we're going to be ourselves and talk about stuff that and I, I want to talk about stuff on here with you uh that other people would it would relate to other people yeah and this kind of stuff does because like I said man it's you know i think for eight i guess this is kind of our therapy too where we talk more here because we're not doing kids or trying to get stuff together we actually sit down have a conversation yeah i know max in the room but you just sit there shirt off in the studies with the shirt off shirt off I'm trying to make it weird but we just keep going uh but like so that's, that's the way I kept around for Dell Top didn't want to chess. Oh dude. I, <laughs> man just loves bro top. Uh but like I said, yeah, so that, that's just kind of what I wanted for this episode. We didn't have a whole lot planned. Uh had a few things I wrote I wrote down, obviously. Uh, uh yeah. I can't even read here. Right? I wanted to talk about well, I didn't use better because I don't want you thinking about it anything. But like I said, that's just the good thing is that he loves to play golf. To get older, you like going to the golf course, so I haven't been in a golf course in a while. But in a while, but that's just because the kids. Yeah. Uh but like they said, like once the kids are away and off the college, so it's just me and you. That's something we can get back. Yeah. What are you looking at? I just uh, Yeah, no, I just I'm saying that that's what I'm saying. There's plenty of stuff like it's not like I would just like I'm gonna go play golf and you're sitting at home. Yeah. Like there'll be stuff we can do to hang out as a couple. I mean, plus we'll be older too, and you know, there'll be times where that time we'll have like I'll have like old lady group, you know, we'll go and have coffee and No, y'all ain't gonna be in there with coffee. <laughs> you have my both bottles for most of the yeah. day. Which I do love good for most man. That's one thing we don't do enough of is kinda of like a oh, I guess because our weekends are so busy, but yeah. I love a good brunch with my bosses. Because I'm like, we need to go back to like the one day. Bay Cliff, whatever, that Noah's Art. Remember how good that little place was? Yeah, like, yeah uh, terrible service. Ter- ter- the service. I'm, 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 I'm like, we went to Jackie's the other day. 
And it was cool to sit there, listen to music, have some drinks. Uh, I can get out some of us in there. So can I actually have a bottle of champagne as it's sitting there? But we haven't had time to ourselves. Well, this we weekend, can't. we're this Saturday, we're going to build our. We can go do a CrossFit workout that we're going to have a us. Or our what? Yep. So, uh, but yeah, I think, I think that, and then we have, we share a hobby, like, uh, we both like to work out, do things. There's some time where I go to the same class as you. It's fun being there with you to see, uh, see how strong I am. Yeah. But hot, it is hot to see your spouse watch work out and you work out. Right? I don't ever watch you work out. You never watch me work out. I'll watch you. I'll, every now and then I'll pay attention if you're at the same class. So you never see me do a pull up. I don't know. Yeah, I saw you, but like, dude, well, I've been there. I'm doing all thing. Like, I can't have people myself. I look. I'm yeah. entertaining. I'm entertaining too. It's so funny because even though we go and get like, he goes in the afternoons, I go the morning times. And so, like, sometimes there are people that come in the mornings, I go in the afternoons, and vice versa. And they're like, man, they're like, ah, what'd they say? What's that saying? Like, what, what no, it's something about like, damn, I'm, sk- I'm still getting bail and bail, you know. Got a lot of this class, I'm still getting down. Like, yeah, because I, we both have same, not same personalities, but we know how to like joke and have fun. Something like that. Oh, dude, I'm there. It's the Dale, it's the Dale Bill shirt. There ain't no doubt, dude. I want to make sure when I'm there. Yeah, I'm just that same person. for me. I'm just that person. And so, I mean, we're both. I like to have a good time. Yeah, we both like to have a good time. I would love to make people laugh. We'd love to just, just cut up. That's right, girl. Man. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, I don't have anything else. Like, so I, just, I know we, we want to knock one out just so we can. And if you think I want to talk about that, I wrote down. I mean, I just talked about finances this whole episode. No, we talked about that. We talked about life goals and things, but it's just. And you're deep, deep, deep down. Health points. No, I, I'm telling you, when we had Bridget and Harrison on, them talk about it. I've, I've already been thinking about it. We had this thing on Dale, Dale podcast while well back. I never made some uh, bomb trying to break me down, you know. But, uh, like I said, hey, I, I, we all got issues, trust me. And I'm not afraid to, to admit it. Uh, I think that having them all, them talk about their journey with that, it just kind of made me more intrigued. And I guess as you get older and you realize your own problems and issues and things like that, how you could be better. So that's really what I'm thinking about. So. But yeah, uh, so that's all I got. Unless you anything else you want to talk about. And we covered it this week, babe. All right. Well, that's going to wrap up episode nine. I got some guests. I got you. I got to get the, that cup, that couple that, uh, that are like, uh, she's like a sex ed, like a um, sexual relations. Yeah. She has her huge Instagram. I talked to her, her husband. They have a cool thing. We'll get them all, get this book up. So we got to eventually get Abdin y'all up here with us. Uh, we need a twin. We need to start thinking about other, other couples that we want to have all to have some fun with. Because Gypsy Rose, I know so there's a lot of it Gypsy is. Rose fans out there. So trust me, we're gonna reach out to her. We're gonna get her on board. I tell you, her, her, her and her husband. I mean, yeah, that'd be so yeah, cool. That would be cool. That would be wild. Just trying to think of other people out there. I mean, who knows. I mean, maybe we could reach out to Kristen Cavallari on the Montana boys. Oh, <laughs> All right, you know what? Um, Heidi and Heidi Montag and uh, Spencer Pratt. Yeah, I can hit them up. I've talked to Spencer. Yeah, I've no. talked to Spencer about being on my other podcast. And he just, oh, then you had the Waller, Jason and Ashley Waller. Yeah, they said they'd be on. So, uh, but yeah, right, we're going to have other guests all hopefully like this week was just a wild we have, lead up to this. Yeah, kind of, we got to do better at like, you know. We're still moving, and I still got, I got another one that I'm doing. And I'll play. I'm doing better at this, guys. You know, this is real. This is a real. This is what you get. Yeah. Y'all put your fit. Drop, drop a comment for Kiki on YouTube. Make her feel good by herself. We have, we have, we've had got good engagement on YouTube. We've had a lot of people comment each episode about stuff or respond to things, which is cool. Like, so I love to see people reach out to us, say they enjoy it, and. You know, they talk about stuff that hits on with them. I love making people laugh and crack up. I'm like, oh my God, I just, like this one couple was like, my husband said, put them ear, ear pods in and listen to it or whatever your voice you say. And she's cracking up. And so she's like, of course, she was laughing at me. Of course. Make sure to bring that. 
So, but uh, yeah, that's it. So we're going to wrap this one up. All right. All right. Peace out.